Okay. I'm trying a little bit different thing here. I'm starting the video out focused on what I'm going to be pointing at. So hopefully you get a better video. Maybe I'm a little blurry now, but that's okay. All right. I've covered a bunch of stuff on the soundboard and the basic soundboard systems and setup and everything else. Now what I'm going to cover are a few things that you can do with your subgroups. Okay. Now, I covered the subgroups before, and these are your subgroups. And, you know, that's where you can actually fade your fader left, punch it in one and two, and then this goes through one and two, and then you can go three and four, and you can adjust what goes where. Now, uh, depending on the board you have, a lot of subgroup boards have group one, group two, three, and four, okay? And the subgroups actually will also have inserts, one, two, three, four. So if you want to actually add like a vocal compressor, you can insert with the, and I've gone over the compressors a little bit before, you can insert into your subgroup one. And that will actually cover all of the vocals. So let's say all of your vocals are going into subgroup one. Boop, plug a compressor into that one, and that will actually control all of that one subgroup. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend using the compressor as a control instrument as much as a safety instrument if you're plugging into a subgroup. The same thing goes if you plug into a main mix. Um, if you want it as a control, you need to plug it into each independent uh, channel. Um, but if you're doing it as like a whole thing, like if you plug your uh, compressor into the drums, the whole drum kit's going to mute down when the kick hits. And it's not going to sound very good. You're going to get this pumping sound as the band's going to be pumping in and out as one loud thing is overtaking the compressor and causing the compressor to do it. So you can actually use like a compressor to uh, do an overall um, uh, control, uh, you know, to keep anything from getting too hot, like all of a sudden, you know, someone drops a mic or feedback takes off or something like that, it'll, it'll catch it there. Uh, another thing you can do instead is say, okay, yeah, the vocals have a little funky sound to them. They're kind of feeding back, and I'm having trouble in the house music. So you can actually plug into the insert here, and you can insert, plug into the insert on the uh, subgroup down here. This subgroup one comes up to one. It's pretty simple. And there's actually uh, re your re return left and right on here, too, if you uh, are running stereo subgroups. Um, so you can, uh, but that's if this is set in stereo, okay? So anyway, so you can return this one into left and right. You could actually jumper it into another one if you wanted to, uh, depending on what you wanted to do with this. And uh, anyway, but you can use this insert on each one of these to add an equalization. Let's say you want to have a certain equalization on the drums, you know, and you got all the drums going to subgroup four or subgroups three and four. You can then do that. All right, so basically that covers your subgroups. Um, the other thing I'm going to go over real quick, and this is about it, you have your mix. Okay, now this board has mix out, and this is an XLR, okay? Now we have record out, and uh, I'm sorry, wait, ignore me. This is matrix out. This is something that this board has. Don't worry about that. I'm Cover that up. Ignore that. Sorry. I'm watching the video camera and looking not what I'm doing. All right, so I've got mix out left and right, okay? So then you have mix insert left and right. Now, I've got a couple effects processors. Sometimes people use uh, sonic maximizers or things like that, and you can actually plug into your mix inserts here and do an overall process on the entire system. Uh, you can also use, uh, you know, I know some people that will go all their mains go through one and then their subs go out the uh, the right if they have like subs and they try to build a crossover or something like that out of the board kind of doing it the hokey way and it works but you know it's not the right way to do it so uh, anyway so yeah you can insert you can use uh, like uh, PV has a Cosmos which is a great processor makes a little bit of high-end sound to it uh, you can hear when they're not singing, there's a little bit of a high-end squeal, but it's, it's great for brightening up the vocals and deepening up the bass. Um, you can also use this for an overall equalization. And using the inserts on the board is, to me, so much easier 
than sitting there and having all the stuff go out to racks, back in, and all these lines going back and forth all over the place. You can plug into the board, have things labeled, dink, 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 plug in everything you need. Uh, you know, you can have four four-channel compressors and you can plug in the inserts on 16 channels and get massive control. Uh, equalization, you can do that on these as well. So anyway, um, that's what I wanted to cover with you. Uh, one thing on this AUX1 send and everything else, if you have equalization that you need to do to eliminate some kind of feedback with your band on the stage, you can use that here. Uh, I am going to go over a couple things with microphones later on that will hopefully address feedback and maybe it will make it a little bit easier for people to understand that a lot of feedback can be eliminated by getting good quality microphones and good quality cables and monitors and things like that. Alright, thank you again for watching. Please rate my video.